Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, lifestyle, and fashion. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys what I bought today at the grocery store because I am gonna do a seven day raw vegan fast. So I thought this would be a good idea if anybody wanted to join me um, and follow along with what I'm doing or pick your own foods or whatever. But I thought that this would be a good time to show you guys some of the things that I did purchase and that I'm going to be consuming in the next seven days. So I'm just gonna get started. So I did go to Whole Foods, but they didn't have what I really wanted. Um, I, we have a local farmer's market here in Georgia that's pretty nice. We have a couple of them and I kind of got some things from there. So I'm just gonna get started and here, I purchased some, what is this? These, this is, these are lettuce, but these are not romaine lettuce. These are leafy greens. And I actually like these a lot. Um, I know right now they're saying that there's something with the romaine lettuce with E. coli. So just kind of stay away from them until they give us the go ahead. So I got some leafy greens and these are pretty good too. Um, they're softer than romaine but they're harder than butter lettuce. So I got two heads of this and, sorry. <laughs> so I have two heads of this and actually this is my kale. This is my kale. They look alike guys. What's this? <laughs> actually, okay. This is my kale. This is my leafy greens, but I did get two heads of this so I got one and where's the other one? The other one should be over here. Let's see okay, and here's the second one. So two heads of this, again, I'm doing this for seven days. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner, all three times a day. And I am gonna document everything and how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling, you know, more energized or whatever. I am a vegan currently, so I'm just expecting to have a little bit more energy because I do cook my foods often. So let's try this out for seven days. So I have that. And then I got some kale, some organic kale. I got two heads of this. And I'm probably gonna either juice this or make like a raw salad. So either way, it's fine with me um, because I do have another set of greens here that I can juice to it and I'm gonna pull those out now. So here's some kale, two heads of that. And I got some watercress. I'm not sure if you guys know what watercress is, but I would recommend everybody keep this in their kitchen. So this is watercress. Um, normally I would buy it with the root on it, but they haven't had it lately, so I've been buying this one. Watercress fights free radicals in your body, so I like this because cancer runs all over this world, and we, you know, try to avoid catching that, um, and just try to be as healthy as we possibly can. So I got two heads of that. Uh, I plan on making like some, you know, raw zucchini noodles and stuff. Um, salads, I'm gonna probably do some lettuce wraps and stuff. I was actually looking for some coconut wraps. And the reason why I wanted this particular brand was because the ingredients, it was just coconut and then like the husk and no other preservatives and stuff. So that's what you guys wanna look for, things that are not really packed with preservatives and stuff. Um, I just don't, honestly don't want it in my body. So. I did end up getting some butter, butter lettuce and this one actually still has the root on it. These are so yummy, guys. Oh my God, this is so yummy. It's not as crunchy, but this right here is the truth. So I got that. I did get some zucchini. I got some zucchini, so I'm gonna make these. I'm gonna make zucchini noodles and just probably just eat them raw, slice them different ways and stuff. I do have the... Um, I think it's called the mandolin, something like that. Um, so I bought three of these. This will last me. Three of these. And what else did I get? I also got 
now I'm not supposed to have broccoli as an alkaline vegan, so let's pretend that you didn't see this, but <laughs> I did get some broccoli and stuff. I've never eaten broccoli raw. However, I believe that if I can get some good flavoring on here, you know, maybe figure out a way to get them a little bit softer, a little bit tender, um, this should be okay. So I bought like two bunches of these. Um, so I'll have this, I'll try to make like some sort of fancy <laughs> stir fry without cooking it <laughs> with the noodles or something. Uh, I also purchased, so I got a bunch of greens. Um, I did get some fruit. I usually get the baby bananas because I just love them. Um, but these are not the baby ones. These are a step up from the baby. So they're just a little bit bigger, but they're not as big as the conventional bananas that we get, you know, we get now. So these are my bananas. I'll probably have that for breakfast, you know, make like a, a fruit bowl or something. And I did get cantaloupe, which I love 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 got a cantaloupe i like to get the cantaloupes that actually have like a spot on them um a friend of mine told me that normally when you see like a spot it's been sitting in the sun and it's been actually working for me meaning that they're really really sweet so i kind of go by that rule of thumb when i do go um grocery shopping so i got some fruit i got some what else did i get i got some What is this? I got some cucumbers for some salad or maybe just eating them as a snack. Okay, got some of these. I try to get organic, um, I really do. But sometimes you can't and you know, but I just say just try to be as healthy as you can. I got some red bell peppers. I got, what else did I get? I got some ginger. I have been making ginger beer and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. But I also do juice it up, I'm sorry. I blend this up and strain it and actually take like ginger shots in the morning with some key lime. Um, and it gives them like a boost of energy. You could also take the same juice and take like a portion of it and probably make, you know, some juice if you want. I am gonna actually do a video on how to make ginger beer because I think I've mastered it now. I really enjoy it. So here's some ginger. Then I got some scallion. I always get that. That's my, sta my staple. I got some onions. Just a bag of onions. I got some cactus fruit, which I call these prickly pear. Um, these are really good. This is really good. The thing about these, like when you blend, I would juice these, but when you juice them, there are little seeds inside. You'll hear them juicing. If you use a Nutribullet, you'll hear them moving around. But I would recommend you find like a really small strainer and just pouring it over and the seeds will sit on top and then there's your juice. This is really good. I recommend trying that out. And I got some, some key limes. I don't buy limes often. Um, I would prefer getting key limes because these are not hybrid. The limes are, but it's very hard to find these out there. So if you are looking for limes, go for key limes first. And then if you don't find them, then you can go for lime. But I'll drink this in the morning sometimes with some water. It'll give me like a recharge or whatever. Um, if not, then I'll probably just drink some tea. But this is a good thing to like sip on in the first thing in the morning to kind of get you charged up to alkalize the body. Um, I would recommend drinking that. I also got some green peppers, green peppers. You guys know what green peppers look like. <laughs> and I got some avocados. Got some, who doesn't love avocados? So I never used to eat these things. I just thought that it was just mushy or whatever, but this is how I know it's mind over matter. When you're trying to change your diet and trying to 
just change how you kind of kind of put in your what you want to put in your body you know i just decided let me just try it out again and i absolutely love it so that's some avocado so i'll probably make like a avocado salad with like some mango i did buy some mangoes and i bought like a big thing of mango and um probably some cucumbers just like, like a fruit salad so yummy then i did get some some apple crisp i'm sorry honey crisp apples and these are here these guys i've been making apple juice with it with this apple and let me tell you it's so yummy i didn't think it was going to be good um but i would recommend straining it after because the suds will sit on top of it but once you strain it with like a cheesecloth oh it's like it's it's so amazing um i also got some blueberries so i am gonna be juicing these so here's the thing i can't eat these just outright eat them i don't know why i don't know why so i just i juice them i'd rather juice them but berries are really good for cancer fighting also um any type of any form of berry I do know that that's in my Nutribullet book. So that's actually a really good book to like read if you just got it. Um, it kind of gives you recipes and stuff on, you know, what's good to fight what. So try this out, get some um, blueberries. And let's see, I also have, uh, it, does, it doesn't seem like a lot, but this is stuff that I eat. I got some strawberries. Oh, so I love strawberries. So I know a lot of people are not eating these because they seem like, I don't know if it was worms. I have no idea. Listen, if it came from the ground, it's probably good for you. <laughs> so I got some strawberries. I'm most likely going to juice this too. Um, I do go through my fruit rather fast because I'm eating it either for breakfast, a snack or something. And this is just before the whole raw vegan detoxed. So I got some strawberries. I did also get, I did also get some cherry tomatoes, which I totally love these. These are so good. And another thing, I never used to eat tomatoes. And I, I've just taken a liking for a lot of the stuff that I never used to eat. And that is because I wanted to change the way I ate. So that's something that I wanted to do. So it was just saying to myself, you have to suck it up. So I also purchased some raisins, which I don't like, but I plan on making a granola, um, a raw granola. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but I just need some sort of crunch with something. And I'm gonna just take some organic raisins. I'm going to, I usually don't eat almonds, um, but why not? I'm going raw this week. So I got some um, some sliced almonds. I got some um, organic walnuts. And I did get some pistachios. <laughs> this is going to be just my snack. I got some pistachios. And I also got... A pineapple. First of all, he cut it all jacked up, um, but it's all good. I'm just gonna slice it up and put it in some mason jars, and that's how I really. That's how I store my fruit, guys. Um, I'll actually probably insert a picture or something on how I store my fruit. I'll try, but I just put it in mason jars and um, and just kind of go from there. This, <laughs> this is some sweet chili sauce. This is, this is vegan um, as far as what's, what's here. I mean, it's not the healthiest, but sometimes I just need like a little kick. So I just buy like a bottle of this and just sometimes put it over like some stir fry, but I'm not gonna use it this week, but I did buy it. And I bought this key um, sea seasoning. It's organic kelp with cayenne pepper. Um, Kelp is really good for you. All of the sea vegetables are extremely good for you. So I would recommend trying this. I do have another one that's more of a seasoning, but it's just two ingredients in this one, which is the kelp and the cayenne. So this is pretty good. Check this one out, guys. 
And what else did I get? And I got, let's see. I got some, some oats. I'm going to attempt to try to make this granola. Normally I don't buy these. I would buy the Kamut oats or the spelt oats, but this was last minute. So I'm just gonna try this out. Hopefully it doesn't do anything to me because I'm norm I normally eat the other ones, but I'm gonna try it out and see. If I feel like a little bloated with it, then I'm just not gonna eat it. Um, but I bought two of these so I can just make a little granola batch. And, and this is just, this is some cinnamon. No, so I know three, three or four things to this that I normally don't get, but I usually get the saline um, cinnamon, which is a lot more stronger than the regular ground cinnamon. But I just got this just in case I wanted to sprinkle it over something. And what is this? This is just some extra onion powder, not onion salt. Onion powder is better. Um, and finally, I purchased some nori sheets. Now the nori sheets are going to be for my wraps. So I was looking for coconut wraps, like I told you guys, but couldn't find it. So I'm gonna opt for this and try this out. <sighs> I don't like the taste of this, but I'm gonna try my best to see if I can create a sauce or something and try to dip it in. But something like this, you can just fill this with avocado, peppers, onions or whatever, and just have you a nice wrap. Um, and maybe even a salad on the side, but I do have this and this is, the cool thing about this is that it always has a packaging in here to keep it fresh and there, there's no preservative. So you're getting exactly what it is, which is the nori sheet. And I did get some mangoes. I got about seven mangoes um, from the farmer's market. And that's it guys. That's all I got for today. It does not seem like a lot of stuff, but this is the stuff that I'm going to eat and make meals out of it every single day. I do have stuff already that, that I can eat also that's raw, but if you like videos like this, guys, please comment below. I'm definitely gonna start doing some more cooking videos for vegans so you guys can see what I eat during the week and during the day and stuff um, as an alkaline vegan and sometimes a regular vegan. <laughs> I like to say regular vegan because broccoli, it's not on the alkaline list. So when I say regular vegan, I mean like all the vegetables and stuff out there. So, but if you like videos like this, please comment below that you know anything you would like to see. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment, Coco, we see you. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.